One day in winter, the fox ran into the otter. After exchanging greetings, they mentioned they should invite each other to dinner. The otter took the initiative and invited the fox to dine with him. When the fox went to visit, the otter treated him to all kinds of tasty dainties. What a fine feast! The fox marveled at the food and ate heartily with great relish. In leaving, the fox said, Mr. Otter, thank you very much for the meal. It was delicious indeed. Now it's my turn to invite you. How about tomorrow evening? Let's have dinner together. So the next evening, the otter visited the fox's place. The otter was surprised when he didn't smell anything cooking. He noticed that the fox was sitting motionless, staring up at the sky. Oh, Mr. Otter, I'm so sorry, but I can't serve you tonight because it is my turn to be the sky watcher. Would you please come tomorrow night, said the fox. The otter had no choice but to go home hungry. Next evening, when the otter arrived, the fox apologized again. Ah, oh, Mr. Otter, I'm very sorry, but I can't treat you tonight because it is my turn to be the Earth Watcher. This made the otter very angry, but the fox kept staring at the ground motionlessly. Once again, the otter had no option but to go home. The next morning, the otter had an unexpected visit from the fox, who again extended a dinner invitation. I'm truly sorry about the last two nights, Mr. Otter, said the fox. But tomorrow is definitely our dinner night, I promise. Then the fox continued. I've been thinking about the menu and fish comes to mind. May I ask you to teach me a good way to catch fish? That's when the otter decided to get even with the cunning fox. Of course, Mr. Fox, I'll tell you the secret to catching fish. It's not difficult, particularly on a cold day like this, the otter said slyly. All you need to do is to put your tail into the river at night and leave it there in the water a while. Eventually, lots of fish will come and fasten onto it. The fox eagerly ran off to the river and waited for the sun to go down. He put his tail into the cold water. Night deepened and the air grew even colder. The fox felt a number of things fastening onto his tail, one after another. His tail grew heavier and heavier. I'll make a good haul, the fox smiled to himself and kept fishing. As dawn was breaking, he figured he had enough of a catch and tried to pull up his tail. Yank! Again, yank! But his tail was frozen in the ice. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't free his tail. Then he heard a farmer's footsteps coming toward the river. The fox knew he would be in great danger if he remained there. So as a last attempt, he gave a desperate tug with all his might and freed his tail. Oh no, it was snapped off at its base. But there was nothing the fox could do except run all the way home crying with pain.
And whether he liked it or not, the fox realized that the otter had taught him a lesson about fooling a friend.